Last week, Arman Rooney, who was the Central Core Committee member of Pashtun Thawas movement, was brutally killed by Balochistan police and no FIR has been registered yet against his murder. He was protesting against the um, against a terrorist attack in Lora like Balochistan, which had claimed lives of more than 30 people. Pashtun Thawas movement and Pashtuns around the world, they decided to hold worldwide protests against the murder of Arman Rooney. So as part of those worldwide protests, we were protesting on 5th February in Islamabad. When we reached to press club, we were informed that the police is arresting all Pashtuns from the press club. They were checking NIC, they were checking the national identity, identity cards and any Pashtun who would enter to the premises of national press club, they would be arrested and taken to taken to the police station. missing officially. I was not on the official records of any police station. I was uh, not investigated for anything. Uh, I was also, I, I did not, I was not tortured, uh, but it was just that they kept me in a, in a parking for seven hours, seven long hours, and they kept me driving on strange roads, on same empty roads too. At 6 p.m., I, I was, they, they started moving me towards a different location. I had been already in detention for 24 hours. I had been insisting that it is my constitutional right to be presented to a magis magistrate within 24 hours. It is my constitutional right to be informed about what charges are against me, why I have been kept in detention. But I was given no answer. I was only told that they, that the officers around me told me that they don't have any clue. They were receiving from for orders for from some unknown people and I don't know where they were moving me but it was a five hours long drive and we would stop at different locations and we would stop for hours then we will move again again we will stop for hours At 11 p.m. on 6 February 11 p.m., we were standing in front of Adiala jail and I was protesting. I was telling them, you cannot send me to Adiala jail without showing me any orders, without showing me my arrest warrants, without showing any, any FIR against me. How can you put me in Adiala jail? But they, the only response I received was that we have, if we, if we are putting you in Atiala jail, it is because we have received orders. However, at, at 11.30, they again put me in the vehicle and they started moving me again uh, to, towards Islamabad. Um, then they took me to woman police station in Islamabad and there I was told, at, it was around 12 midnight, I was told that you have been released on the special orders of uh, Imran Khan. What shocks me really is that it took our, it took 30 hours for our prime minister to negotiate my recovery. And it also shocks me that why in first place we don't have the right to a 
peaceful protest this is a constitutional right to assembly this was the, we were not doing anything violent we were not doing a crime we were actually asking for someone's right to life so why in first place i was uh, being missed why i was removed from the documents who is responsible for removing me from the official documents from the official record so they have put me illegally i have been put on exit control list i am not allowed to work in pakistan my right to association my constitutional right to association has been suspended in pakistan i, I it's really difficult for me to work to, to work it's really difficult it has become difficult for my organization to work i have been a women rights activist i have been working in pakistan for last 15 years to promote women rights to promote human rights and to build peace if this can happen to a woman high profile activist i wonder what will be happening to our young people who are activists who are not well known in the world who are not well known in pakistan who are just common citizens and activists